There's still like dust and spider webs on it, Dan. Straight from the rafters. Was this out of your house? No, I was helping my friend Clark replace his pipes and he was drinking out of this pipe up until like a day ago. These are water supply lines in a house that was built in... 19... 1950-ish. So about 70 year old pipe. <laughs> so here in the basement, the water was leaking from this and it was like just collecting in a bowl. That's the sign you for sure need to replace your pipes. I don't think I've ever seen galvanized pipe get that bad. So what we want to do is we want to get a good look at all of, can you even see through this? I don't think there's a straight shot through this pipe. Um, oh, just I, oh, there it is. It's tiny. We want to cut this pipe lengthwise all the way down and expose the nasty because we're nasty. <laughs> Water jet channel, we expose the nasty. <laughs> So, uh, looks like the water jet started cleaning it, but we still have a decent amount left in there. And that is, that's nasty. Like up here, it's real thick. So in Utah, we have what some would consider really hard water, lots of minerals. A lot of people have to have water softeners here. And uh, this is why. This is uh, what 70 years of hard water looks like on your pipes right here so on the outside this is where the water was leaking through and you can see we probably cut through right through the spot where it it broke through so which one's a stalactite and which one's stalagmite depends on which, if, which side is the top uh this is the bottom because it was dripping from the bottoms the bottom then it is uh i actually don't remember which one's which i'm gonna go with stalagmite everybody tell me if i'm wrong or not yeah one of each because you got one foreman on the inside and we got one foreman on the outside stalactite stalagmite that's what i'm gonna go with another cool observation where we did kind of sandblast all the uh, mineral deposits off there's this pitting all along the inside of the pipe Especially this one right there, that's like really deep. Like that one was close to breaking through. And we think that that is caused by, uh, what is it, like cavitation? I mean, and it's, it's like, it creates like a hammering effect on the, on the pipe. I don't believe that method, but sure. <laughs> I think it's just caused by the minerals you just wearing think it's, away. But like, why Calvin, would it? Why Calvin would it wear away in that pattern, though? That seems. That seems a little weird. All you uh, pipe experts out there, let us know. Uh, or mineralogists. Or mineralogists. That's a thing. We've got this one now, which looks like it is even worse. So we want to cut this one down and see what that one looks like. Big reveal. Oh, oh nasty. that is chunky. Yeah, your drinking water should not be chunky. Pro tip. This one didn't have any visible leaks on the outside. Oh, but that's real thick. That's the spot you can see from the oh, outside. Oh yeah, that's where it was thickest. Another real thick spot. I mean, I know it's just like minerally, but. I don't know. It's drinking water, Dan. It's safe. I mean, it is. People are obviously drinking out of this, and they're fine. They're not dead, so... Well, the next logical step with this would be uh, giving it the old lick test.
just kidding. It's safe to lick. It's from the uh, water supply line. Oh. Oh. Yep, that's minerals. It's really gross how you can be drinking this not even aware of what your water was touching before it gets to you. Yeah, that is pretty gross. Also, what I've become a lot more aware of is all of the other surfaces that we touch and how much gross stuff could be on there, and we have no idea. These are strange times that we're living in now, and we wanted to do something to try and help people live in these strange times. So, introducing the copper finger. America's number one preferred way to give germs the finger. Copper finger is made of pure copper. Copper is naturally antimicrobial and immediately starts breaking down bacteria and viruses on contact. But Dan, how do I use this thing? That's a great question. Let me show you. Copper finger helps you avoid touching potentially contaminated surfaces like door handles, grocery stores, keypads, ATMs, and you can even scratch yourself with it. It works! If you want to learn more about the Copper Finger, there's a link down in the description, or you can go to thecopperfinger.com, learn more, pick up your own. If not, just watch the next video.